Tad ir lūkiem bičs es jau jūsu My mother's been looking for you. She arrived for King's Landing today. Before you go, you will call on Lord and Lady Stark and offer your sympathies. What good will my sympathies do then? None. But it is expected of you. Your absence has already been noted. The boy means nothing to me. Oh, I can't stand the wailing of women. <sighs> One word and I hit you again. I'm telling Mother! <sighs> Go. Tell her. But first you will get to Lord and Lady Stark, and you will fall on your knees in front of them and tell them how very sorry you are, that you are at their service and that all your prayers are with them. Do you understand? You can't. Do you understand? The prince will remember that, little lord. I hope so. If he forgets, be a good dog and remind him. Ah, time for breakfast. What my traitor brother has done, I had no part. You know that. I beg you, Sir please. Sir tell her of this outrage. Using some vile sorcery, your brother fell on Stafford Lannister with an army of wolves. Thousands of good men were butchered. After the slaughter, the Northmen feasted on the flesh of the slain. Killing you would send your brother a message. <laughs> but my mother insists on keeping you alive. Stan. Sir, we'll have to send your brother a message some other way. Merrin. Leave her face. I like her pretty. <laughs> Baron, my lady's overdressed. I'm burdening her. <laughs> if you want Rob Stark to hear us, we're going to have to speak louder. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Girl. The kind who serves his king, imp. Careful now. We don't want to get blood all over your pretty white cloak. Someone get the girl something to cover herself with. She's to be your queen. Have you no regard for her honor? I'm punishing her. For what crimes? She did not fight her brother's battle, you half-wit. You can't talk to me like that. The king can do as he likes. The mad king did as he liked. Has your uncle Jamie ever told you what happened to him? No one threatens his grace in the presence of the king's guard. I'm not threatening the king, sir. I am educating my nephew. Bronn, the next time Sir Merwin speaks, kill him. That was a threat. See the difference? Tell the hand that his king has asked him a question. The king has asked you a question. Sir Lancel, tell the hound to tell the king that the hand is extremely busy. The hand of the king would like me to tell you to tell the king If that... I tell the hound to cut you in half, he'll do without a second thought. That would make me the quarterman. It just doesn't have the same ring to it. Cut me in half and I won't be able to give the signal. No signal, no plan. No plan and Stannis Baratheon sacks this city, takes the Iron Throne, Put your pinched little head atop a gate somewhere. It might be quite amusing. Except that my head will be up there too. I've much liked my head. I don't want to see it removed just yet. Hail, Joffrey! Hail to the king! 
Seven blessings on you, your grace. Back in. Go hail the king. Please, your grace, we're hungry. Get the prince back to the keep now. Yes, my lord. Come quickly. Let your grace, please. You know. 